Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm feverishly putting on my shoes so we can go. Yeah, we're getting a somewhat early start. It's about 7.20 in the morning. And we're going to go grab some breakfast and then hit the road for uh, Crater Lake. Here we go. Hi, I'm Susan. Hi, I'm Matthew. Together, Together we, we love, love to travel. travel. We're off to explore more of our great country. Experiencing the Redwoods. We're simply visiting with friends. Wow, Rail Fanny. Exploring Crater Lake. It's Labor Day weekend and adventure calls. Where do we go from here? Yeah, it was dark when we came through last <laughs> night, so you get to see what it looks like in the daylight now. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Beautiful day here in North, well, Central Oregon. Because uh, they don't do North for some reason. It's just Central Oregon. But, beautiful sunrise this morning, and uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day. Okay. We are at Chick-fil-A for breakfast. And there's no line. And no line, even better. <laughs> Happens at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I got one of their bagel breakfast sandwiches and their potatoes. And I got the egg white delight, which is grilled chicken on an English, whole wheat English muffin with their egg white. So. And she got a parfait and a yeah. first fruit coffee drink down there. <laughs> my Greek yogurt parfait and my vanilla iced coffee. And I got a Diet Dr. Pepper because you need caffeine in the morning. <laughs> okay, we're at the stoplight to head south on US 97. Here we come, Crater Lake, ready or not. entered Newberry National Volcanic Monument. So you're going to start seeing a lot of lava um, next to the highway here in a few minutes um, because this area had a lot of lava activities. It's unique to Oregon and Washington area. See, right here is the lava flows you can see. And it's intermixed with the ponderosa pine that we're traveling through. Very beautiful. The Lava Lands Visitor Center that we're just getting up to is a great place to visit, but due to COVID restrictions, they aren't running their buses to the top and they don't allow private vehicles to drive up there. Otherwise, you probably would have stopped and seen it. So that's the butte that they run their buses up to when COVID is not in effect. trunk line of the BNSF.
So I'm here at Chamolt, Oregon, and um, I'm standing on the Amtrak platform. Over here is the warming house that during the winter people can use to keep warm until the train arrives. Much like Wenatchee, Chamolt only has an Amtrak platform. Right over here you see a second set of tracks um, along with the tracks here at the near ground. That is the BNSF Oregon trunk um, coming into the UP. Uh, BNSF has trackage rights south of here and this is where the line splits off to go up to Wish from Washington up through Bend and uh, this is the southern end of the trunk. It'd be cool to see a train. Well, that was fun. Uh, Amtrak came and went, so off we go to Crater Lake. It's only a short little jaunt from here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's chipmunks running around up here on the side of the hill. Like it's trying to eat whatever's on the ground over here. Somebody dump something. Your mm, cheeks are so cool. <laughs> so that was your wildlife break while we were here at the rust area. And um, we took a break and went to the restroom ourselves. And right now we're gonna finish up the last little portion to Crater Lake. We're gonna be turning off US 97 here in a few miles, heading to the north entrance. 
and buying our park pass for the year. Woo! Last year, our park pass saved us, uh, well, we had the equivalent of $390 worth of entrance fees covered by our $80 park pass. So we almost got five times our money worth. Yep. So I don't know if we're going to be able to do that good this year, but it gives us more incentive to go visit some of our national parks, um, which I always enjoy doing. And there are a couple in our state, so we do have the opportunity. Yeah, we um, we have Mount Rainier and Olympic that charge entrance fees in Washington State, so it gives us incentive to go over there and enjoy those parks and um, see the beauty of Washington State. But I'm excited to see Crater Lake here. Continue on Oregon 138 West for 15 miles. So we just turned on to Oregon Highway 138 and Crater Lake is only 30 short miles. It's only like 18 to the north entrance. So we're coming up on the lineup to get into the park. It's quite the lineup. Yeah, it's not too bad. It was worse at Yellowstone. Yeah, that's true. So here we are. Another national park. Whoop whoop. Okay, we're here. We're about to get our park pass and enter Crater Lake. Interagency pass in hand. Now it's time to go explore Crater Lake National Park. Very incredible to see even though it's not too big. Just can't get away from how blue the water is. So that was the Watchman Overlook and now we're heading back north to go east around the 
East Crater Drive. Wow, it is spectacular. So we're now on the East Rim Drive, although Susan tried to take us past the East Rim back to the North Entrance. <laughs> There's a chipmunk out on the ledge over here. And there he is. Hi, little chipmunk. Aww. Hi, buddy. <laughs> the National Park Service says I can't feed you, so sorry, you're not getting any food. Where'd you go? Sorry guys, you got distracted by the chipmunk instead of looking at the lake. Whoa, it is uh, way down there. 